Let me uh, briefly give you some information. We have uh, a baby. The father is uh, John Fury. The mother is uh, Mary Fury. This is their first child. It's a baby boy, Sean Michael, and um, we will be uh, going uh, to the hospital as soon as Larry gets through traffic. And in the meantime, the, uh, the new father gets a chance to chat with Vince. <laughs> So, uh, but we're, uh, we're terrifically uh, delighted for those folks, and they, they get all of the, the cash stuff, and we'll chat with uh, uh, the father, at least, in a couple of minutes. Three years ago, when we started doing this program, we had a choice. It could be used as a powerful educational tool, or it could be used to stage a lot of flashy stunts just to get some cheap applause. When, when you take a look at this videotape, I hope you'll agree that we made the right decision. Tonight, an NBC Late Night exclusive, The Russian versus The Bloodhound. December 6, 1983, with only the scent from one of his shirts to guide them, a team of bloodhounds successfully track down and apprehend announcer Bill Wendell. Tonight, they'll be going up against the Russian, Lev Schneider. One week earlier, he used his incredible psychic powers to perform a similar feat of detection. His prey, a hidden bag of hair. Tonight, East meets West in a dramatic showdown, the Russian versus the bloodhound, next. about 12 times by various members of the staff to remind you, don't try this at home. <laughs> I know you have the 900-gallon tank. I know you have the oxygen. I know you have the suit of Alka-Seltzer and a staff of 100 people. No! Oh! <laughs> Do you release my feet or re release your feet? <laughs> Sanborn and uh, our wonderful band. You know, uh, Paul, we have uh, a, a new set here. Did you realize that? Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see, too. It's a whole yeah. different thing back there. <laughs> I have no lights like you have, though. I'd like, can I get lights? Well, maybe next year we can get you oh, some next lights. Year. All right. we uh, okay, we're going to go back to uh, New York Hospital now, and uh, we have a baby which has uh, been born there uh, shortly. 
uh, not too long ago, rather. Uh, it's a baby boy. Uh, Sean Michael is the uh, kid's name. And we're, Vince and uh, Larry is there to award the key. And I understand, Vince, uh, you don't have the, the father just yet, but you, who is the woman you're standing with? No, but we're working on the father. Uh, he's on his way up, and certainly Larry's looking forward to uh, interviewing the father and uh, presenting a little something, as we understand. But uh, joining us right now, Valerie Lewis, who was an eyewitness, indeed part of the uh, whole situation down in the operating room. And, Bud, you're going to ask a few questions. Valerie, how's the baby? How's the mom? The baby is excellent, has an almost perfect APGAR 910, and the mother is recuperating nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I have a question for you, Larry. Is that your tux? <laughs> no, it's not. All right. Back to you. Oh, okay. here. There's no doubt about it. We're having fun. Okay, Vince, thank you very much. Uh, we'll try to come back uh, later and talk with the, uh, the boy's father. Thank you very much. Uh, what are we doing? Another commercial. We'll be back, folks. <laughs> Finding performers for the program, we could do the easy thing and book a lot of high-priced professional actors, or we could give some of our own staff members a chance in the spotlight. As we page through our late-night family album, I think you'll agree that we did the thing that cost the least. Jeff Aquilon, who is a male model. Dave? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Do you have any A1 sauce? Welcome to New York, sometimes called Fun City. <laughs> Do you have any questions about New York? <laughs> well, it isn't easy, that's for sure. Did you have a snack on the <laughs> Well, won't you please? To, uh, tell us which one was actually uh, lower in, in cholesterol. Chris uh, Elliott, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, go ahead and, and uh, okay. conduct the experiment. tell any difference. Shaft 9 just collapsed. This brings us to letter number 3. Dear Dave, this man must be stopped. <laughs> His plan is to take over the world and make us all look and dress like he does. We've tried to stop this evil but have failed. You are our last hope. Please save us. Ken Cole, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, frankly, some of this mail is just stupid. Here we are, slandering a perfectly nice man just for the sake of what? A stupid joke. We don't even know who this man is, and all of a sudden, we're making a joke out of him. Paul, do you know who this guy is? Have you ever seen this man before? Any idea? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you, David. Thank I'm you. thrilled to, that you picked that clip, too. 
And uh, Bill, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you, Dave. everything you've done. Three years of great pleasure. And uh, also my thanks to uh, Chris Elliott. Chris, uh, that was just terrific. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, very nice job. Chris, uh, you know, when you when you look at uh, your appearances on the program and uh, you, everybody seems to love them, do you have any idea why they're so successful? I really don't. I'm just very happy that they are, and congratulations yeah. on your anniversary. Well, thank you very much. You know, now, now, Chris, I had kind of an idea why they're so successful. You know, I think it's those, I think it's those silly little costumes. <laughs> silly little costumes. <laughs> yeah, you know, the little stuff you put on your head and so forth. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right, Dave. I guess talent has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Now, now, Chris, I, I didn't want to get into this. You know something, because... mister? One of these days, I might just have to knock the wind out of your sail. <laughs> but until that day, I'll be right here, making your life a living hell. <laughs> watching you. Watching everything you do. If I see that damn Alka-Seltzer suit again, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I'm watching you, Dave. Happy anniversary. Okay, good enough. We say goodnight. We want to go back to New York Hospital and uh, Vince, and I understand he has the uh, the father and also the uh, the doctor who delivered uh, the young uh, baby, uh, Mike, uh, Sean Michael. Uh, Vince, go ahead and introduce the folks there, will you? Yes, sir? indeed. We have here to my left uh, Dr. Davis, who delivered the bouncing baby boy. And to my right, to my right, the father of the late night baby. As a matter of fact, he had a little something to do with it. Uh, John, congratulations. <laughs> and we understand that uh, Larry Bud, you have a special presentation. Yes. Here is the key. May your child's life be as full, rewarding, and successful as my own. <laughs> uh, Vince, is, if, uh, could I say hello to John for just a second? You bet. Uh, John, congratulations. We certainly are uh, very pleased for you, and uh, this must be a really peculiar time to find yourself on television, huh? Uh, definitely. Uh, are there people that you would like to say hello to? You have family and friends that would be interested in knowing about this? Uh, yeah, my parents and my wife's parents. Well, again, congratulations, and we really let you, uh, we really appreciate you letting us uh, sort of eavesdrop on this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for okay, us. Congratulations nope. again. <laughs> no problem. Nice talking with you, John. Okay. And no problem for him, of course. And uh, Vince, Vince, be sure and tell John uh, to give our best to uh, his wife, Mary, and to his uh, uh, brand new son. You bet. Okay, thank you very much. Now, what are we doing? We're doing one more commercial, and then we'll be right back, folks. <laughs> All right, uh, it's time to say goodnight, and I understand we have an actual uh, photograph of uh, Shawn Michael. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Um, all right, I want to thank everybody uh, who helped us out tonight. Of course, uh, Vince McMahon, and uh, let's say uh, good night to Bob Costas. We haven't talked to Bob since early on in the proceedings. Bob, thank you very much. We appreciate your help as always. Well, thank you, David, and the party is continuing apace. Uh, <laughs> most, most of the staff on hand here, meanwhile, the plaintive cries of desperately ill men and women go unheeded. David? <laughs> Well, we, we knew something would get shortchanged. Um, I, I want to thank, uh, of course, Paul and the band, Will Lee, Steve Jordan, Sid McGinnis, and uh, Mr. David Sanborn for sitting in. Thanks for a good year, gentlemen. Thanks to uh, Bill Wendell, our announcer. I want to thank everybody on our production crew, uh, production staff, and everybody on our technical crew for all of the hard work that they uh, do every night of this show. We've had a wonderful time. Thank you to our studio audience. You folks are always terrific. Have a good weekend. Good night. <laughs>
1984.